Celia Perez, the kid that can cook. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make a California pizza. First, we need to make the dough. What you'll be needing is one cup of 110 degree water, one tablespoon of olive oil, one packet of active dry yeast, one teaspoon of honey, some salt, three cups of flour. First, you need to dissolve the honey and the yeast in one fourth cup of water. Whisk till dissolved and then set aside. Now we're gonna take it to the mixer. Put your flour and a pinch of salt into your mixer. Mix on low for 30 seconds until the flour and the salt are combined. Next, put in your yeast and your olive oil. Stir on low until combined. Now you add the remaining hot water to the mixture. Stir on low until it forms a dough. We're going to put the dough on a floured surface. Make sure your hands are covered in flour. Knead the dough until it's smooth and firm. We're going to put our smooth, firm dough in an olive oil lined bowl. Cover it with a damp towel and put it in a warm, dry place. My warm, dry place is a turned off oven. Now we wait for two hours. The dough's ready! Look how big it is. Now that the dough has rested, we need to punch it, re-knead it, and separate it. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's a little wet, so I'm going to add a touch more flour. Now it's time to roll it out and separate. You separate it into six balls. Now cover each individual ball of dough in plastic wrap. Put all of the dough balls in a bowl. Cover with a damp cloth so none of the yeast escapes. And put in an off oven for an hour to set. First thing we need to do is roast the garlic. And if you're a kid like me and aren't strong enough to use a knife to peel the garlic, you can use a can. Perfect. Now you have to peel the garlic and season it. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and some black pepper. Roast at 350 for 20 minutes. When the garlic comes out of the oven, it should be nice and golden brown. I have pre-sliced a chicken breast, and now we're gonna season it with sesame. You can find sesame in your international aisle. It is a mixture of garlic, saffron, salt, and pepper. It gives a great flavor and a bold color. Once your pan is nice and hot, add a little bit of olive oil and put in your chicken. You're looking for that sizzle. Look at this chicken. Delicious and colorful. When I think of California pizza, I think of California. And when I think of California, I think of one thing, avocado. For this pizza, I'm going to show you how to make a simple guacamole. We used two avocados. I mashed one, and now I'm going to cube the other. Next, we need half a chopped onion. I'm going to show you the easiest way to chop an onion. Cut it in half the long way. Once it's peeled, make a series of horizontal slits. Now you want to cut about three quarters of the way in vertically. Now, like magic, when you chop down, you'll have a chopped onion. Put the onion in with the avocado. Now add half of a jalapeno and one whole chili. You want these raw because if you cook them, they're gonna be way too spicy. One tablespoon of chopped cilantro, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now add half of a chopped tomato, the juice of one lemon and two limes. This adds flavor and prevents the avocados from going brown. Last but not least, add your crushed roasted garlic. Make sure to add a good pinch of salt to the guacamole. Now stir it all up and you've got a beautiful homemade guacamole. 
Okay, we're ready to assemble our pizzas. Make sure your hands and your workspace are covered in flour and knead one little ball of dough. Don't worry if it's not perfectly round. If it comes out some other shape, just call it rustic. Apply equal pressure so the thickness is the same all around. No rolling pin necessary, just do it with your hands. This is a sauceless pizza, so instead of putting on a tomato sauce right now, you will brush on a generous amount of garlic oil. Next, I add some cheese. I use a mixture of mozzarella and fontina that I grate myself. Now add some strips of chicken. Finally, to top off the pizza, add some Parmesan flakes. You add these last because they're beautiful. Okay, the pizzas are ready to go in the oven. Put them on a non-stick cookie sheet and bake them for 10 minutes at 500 degrees. The pizza is ready to come out of the oven. Now we're gonna finish it off with our guacamole and our homemade bacon bits. Almost time to eat. Delicious. <laughs> I'm Amelia Perez, and that is how you make a California pizza. And remember, if this kid can cook, so can you.